Our first guest is a master at home decor and DIY on a budget, and she joins us today with easy decorating hacks that everyone needs in their back pocket. We welcome back realtor and home design expert Tegan Enlow. Great to see you again. Good to see you too. You have lots of really good, easy ideas for us today. Yes. Bunch of different things you can do when you're decorating your home that will just make it that much easier for and you. And little roadblocks that we've all run into before that you're going to get us over them in the most simple way. Yes. But genius hacks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm excited. Okay. Um, so I brought a bunch of different things to look at. The first one that always drives me crazy mm -hmm. um, is I'll buy something at the store and they put the price tag like on the glass or something and I can never get all the goo off. Why is it the stickiest stickers ever made are always on that glass? Yes, but then like you try and tape something on your wall and it falls off immediately. Exactly. I don't know. So um, after many different attempts at different things that you could do to try and get it off, I have found that just lemon essential oil oh, nice. works really good. Okay. Um, so I just kind of like basically like rub it on there and there then you go. have a paper towel. And it doesn't take much, right? No. And then it just sort of like starts to dissolve it. Oh, that's so nice. And it comes off. Now this one I have to scrape a little because that's okay though. It I has like see. leftover paper. Yeah. Um, that's so much more effective though than scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing with random hand soap or something mm -hmm. that you grab from the kitchen and it's not going to get anywhere. Yeah. And honestly, this hack is so helpful for so many other things. Um, I have used it to get sap out of my children's clothes. Oh my gosh. I've used it to get like gum off of things. Like it just, Good. it's the gift that keeps it's on giving. Nature's goo gone. Yeah. Okay. So I cleaned that one. This one we're just going to leave. So, yep. you know, before and after. There you go. Um, my other favorite thing is when I'm hanging artwork. So these two are a set. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of times people want to hang them like in line together. But a couple things that can make that tricky. Um, so this one has little like wire here that you yes. can hook. But if you look at it, you'll see that the wires are different lengths. Imperfect. Yeah, and so what I will do is I'll just kind of get it lined up for the spacing that I want and make sure that they look like they're level. Okay. And then I take painter's tape and I go through and I just try and put it so that it's on one edge and then I'll come over here and I want it to be I see. So you're going to pre-tape out where the actual nail or screw should go on the wall mm -hmm. before you make a hole. Exactly. Okay. So I kind of get it how I want it, make sure it's level. I don't think that was quite level. Okay. So that looks good. And then you can come in with your Sharpie or whatever pen you have. Oh, I didn't put that quite high enough there. One second. Um, okay. So when you come in with your pen and you can just sort of like mark where it would go. Such a great idea. Right, and see how this one is so much lower? Yeah, such um, a big difference. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to come over here. I am going to put this on the wall. This is our wall example yes. for the day. This is our makeshift wall. Um, grab a little scale or level, make sure it's looking like it's level. And then this is one of my other favorite hacks here. So I like to use a bead organizer to keep all of my nails Such and stuff. Such a good idea. Anything I'm using to like put things on the wall. So I've got screws in here, I've got anchor bolts, I've got my nails. Amazing. And then you just come to where you put your little pen mark here. Like Look at that. that. I so know. So efficient. I know. That's okay. so great. And then you can peel this off. The trick is to not accidentally pull your nail out with sure. it. Sure. But it just comes right off. Such a great hack. And then. Here, I'll help you with this one. Thank you. You can just kind of. This okay. is such a good real time demo for us. Look at that. And then you can I kind know. of adjust can as kind needed. Adjust but that looks yeah. pretty so good for up. your first go right there. Yeah. So that is a great one that okay. you can do. My other favorite thing right now is. Gilded frames are really in. Mm. You'll see them a lot for like artwork or even just like framing your at home pictures. Sure. Um, and I have been getting these thrifted wood frames here. Those are cool. And refinishing them. Okay. So this is what, this right here is what this one looked like before I started it. Wow. I went ahead and kind of painted this corner here just like to have that done. But you basically just take a little bit of this like gold refinishing stuff. I love that. And you just kind of brush it on with your paintbrush. And brush. these are so much lighter too than those super heavy, yeah. gorgeous gilded frames. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It'll be easier to hang up so on your wall. So you can brush that on, you let it dry. 
Um, and then this is kind of like the secret sauce. This okay. is going to look really crazy. But I basically take a little bit of black paint. And so if you look at this, it just looks all gold. You don't really see like the tonal difference sure. or anything. And with vintage gilded frames, they always kind of have like that dimension to them. Mm -hmm. So I kind of come back and I kind of dab it with some black here. Okay. And then... This I is a use, trust the process moment. I know, and then I come back in with this, and I just kind of like buff it out. It's it like when you really cool. Yeah, it's like when you're um, doing your eyeshadow, you know, and you mm. like mm -hmm. blend. Yep. 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 So it Look, starts looks to scary you, for a minute, and then you yeah. bring it all back together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just kind of you just kind of keep blending. That looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so then you can hang this on the wall. And actually, that made me think of one more thing I brought, which is this paint pen. We gotta talk about the paint pen. Let's talk about the paint pen. This is wild. It looks like lip gloss, but it's not. It's a paint pen. Um, and what you do with this is you fill it with your wall color. I did purple here which is not actually my wall color, but just... Gosh, because. why not though? But just to kind of show what yeah. you can do with yeah, it. Yeah, this is not the wall color in my home. Um, I have painted things this color before, but not in my house. So the nice thing about this though is, let's say you put something on your wall and you pull the nail out. Now there's a hole mm -hmm. and you're touching it up. You put like some, you know, spackle or something in it. And then you're like, gosh, I gotta, I gotta paint it over that again. Right. Yeah, so this is great. You just kind of twist a little bit and some comes out. And then it just so genius. It just paints right on. And I'm just thinking about toddlers and pets and all those little scuffs along the baseboards. Yes. So easy. I know. The thing in our house was you would just hear these crashes, like when they're <laughs> learning to walk and they have the little like scooter <laughs> things they hold on to. The unexplained crash yeah, is they always just and then usually into like a cabinet or mm -hmm. a wall or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can just keep this in your drawer and then great as stuff idea. pops up, you can... Let's talk about our yeah. house plants because you have a great way to keep them watered but keep it looking nice too. I know, okay, so house plants are very in. They add a lot of like texture and warmth and just like character to your home. I initially killed all my house plants because yeah. I didn't understand you needed the drainage hole at the bottom. Very, very important to there keep from go. drowning them. Um, but then that means you need something underneath to catch it. Now you can at like the home stores, like the home improvement ones, you can get these plastic trays. That's what you'll find, yeah. which is okay. It's okay, I just don't feel like it's very pretty. Um, so what I love to do now is I will thrift dishes. Look how adorable that is. And I'll put is. those underneath. And you can find the perfect fit for any pot. Mm -hmm. So you can do like a little clear one like that. If you want to add some personality, you can do something that's, that's got some so color beautiful. to it. Um, and then pull one. in the other design elements from your home, too. Mm -hmm. Fun little hobnail print. And it's more sustainable. Yep. It keeps things out of the landfill. And they look really beautiful. It's like an elevated Great approach idea. to it. Any way to keep those house plants alive that we're all battling with. Yes. Thank you so much. You brought us so much stuff today. Thank Great you. Great to see you. Yeah. We're all going to have beautiful homes in no time. We'll have more information about Tegan on our website at katu.com. We'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.